Hey, what's up guys? Thank you very much for being in Electrica. I really appreciate that. Now, I want us to talk about electrical interlock. Okay? How does this safety feature useful? Okay, so electrical interlocking is a safety mechanism uh, used to prevent two contactors from being energized simultaneously. So this is important when controlling motors in forward and reverse direction or when, uh, you, you know, changing uh, between two sources of power. Okay. All right. So uh, interlocks, especially electrical interlocks, they're always going hand in hand with contactors because that's what we use to, you know, activate our loads, either motor or in your changeover uh, switch. Okay. So right here with me, I have two contactors, which is perfect to demonstrate that. And then I have uh, my two input, but this is the same concept goes for the uh, change of a switch. Okay. So uh, electrical interlock will prevent uh, uh, these two contactors from energizing at the same time, because what you're seeking here is a protection. Imagine you have got, uh, you know, a generator, I mean, you have got a utility power supply on running, okay? Or you have got a generator running, okay? Here, you have a generator running, and at the same time, the utility power supply resumes. You see? So, two sources of power are engaged. And mind you, they are all using the same installation, Okay? So definitely are going to be a very big fire. They're going to be a short circuit, much as you have, you know, breakers protecting that, but this is going to be bad for your installation, okay? And it also burn these equipments, uh, you know, contactors, and they, they're not cheap, okay? So it's a, a, protect, uh, a protection future, a safety future, all right? So instead, when we have uh that mechanism in place then we will prevent this contactor from coming in so imagine this is a motor uh imagine this is a motor so and uh, you're running it in forward and you're running it in star because it's a forward and reverse starter it might be you know a conveyor belt okay so uh you press and then you want to press uh, reverse, and reverse also engages. You see, you can imagine that. All right. So let us see how a mechanical, I mean, how an electrical interlock can help us to mitigate that problem. So if you're going to do that, then you're going to need uh, these contact add-ons, or they are called auxiliary uh, contacts. So it depends on what you want to do. So they come with normally closed, normally open, okay? But because you want to interlock, so we have to use normally closed. So what we want to achieve is that if contactor F or contactor A is running, contactor B will not engage, okay? So let us go ahead and wire that. So we are going to hook our interlocks on. And what we want is this, you know, uh, to come in, okay? All right, so because we want, before this contact energizes, we want it to go through here, okay? That's what we want. Now, so, So this is the supply of this contactor. So we want to remove it like this. So this is the initial start of our contactor. Okay, this. And uh, also we have got this. 
So this is the wire that he brings the connection back. Okay, this one. This is the wire that brings the connection back. Okay, so this is what uh, do the, the latching. Okay. So I'm going to use normally closed uh, right here, okay? So the, the latching is still on this contactor, the one I want to interlock, okay? But now, before the power comes from here, initially would have entered in A1 right here, directly of this contactor, but I have to move it around, okay? So, this wire now will enter the coil. So, we've done that one side. So, let us see how that really hold up. Okay, so let us go ahead and start. So you realize that this reverse contactor, it has engaged, okay? But if I start the forward contactor, it engages, but it switches off the reverse. Okay, but if I switch on the reverse, you see, the reverse would not come on until I switch off. So I have interlocked one side, so let us interlock the other side also. Okay. Alright, so I have managed to interlock all these contactors all together. So if we can recap this, the A1 of the reverse contactor or the contactor number two, so the A1 here, it before it gets energized, it has to pass through the uh, normally closed of contactor one. Okay, such that if contactor 2 is running, it will open the normally closed here and then the other contactor will not be able to engage. Okay? So if we do this again, I'll start contactor number 1. So because contactor number 1 is engaged, okay, now our motor is running in forward direction. Alright? It is engaged here. So definitely this second contactor will not run simply because the wire that is supposed to energize this contactor here, it is in open position. So there is an open circuit in the contactor number two. Okay. So even if we press, you know, uh, our button here, there will be no activation of this contactor simply because now what we call, that's what we call interlocking. So unless I switch off this contactor, this is when this will engage, okay? Only that. So if contactor number two has engaged right here running, number one cannot come in, okay? I will still have to switch off first before the contact number two engages. All right. What about if you press two buttons at a go? So if if you press two buttons at a go, only one contactor will come in. 
the one which of course this button is you're going to press them at the same time but there will be one which will you know will reach further fast okay yeah okay so so that's that's it that's how electrical interlock uh, work if you have been asking yourself so thank you very much for watching electrica please don't forget subscribe to like and share by the way there is another interlocking mechanism called mechanical uh, interlock just what you see in this contactor okay there is some stuff you're seeing in the middle here okay uh, here so that is the mechanical interlock so if i press this this one cannot you know engage uh, i already have a video on the channel on that so if you want to watch it it will be uh, on left or right of this video thank you very much until next time i'm out